How did NASA get past the Van Allen belt? If you've ever wondered how NASA managed to send astronauts to the moon despite the dangerous radiation of the Van Allen belts, you're not alone. Let's break down the journey and the strategies they used. First, let's understand what the Van Allen belts are. These are two concentric rings of energetic particles surrounding the Earth, discovered by James Van Allen using data from the Explorer 1 satellite in 1958. The inner belt is mostly made up of protons, while the outer belt is primarily electrons and other particles. When NASA planned to send astronauts to the moon, they knew they had to navigate through this radiation. Here, how they did it, the Apollo spacecraft took a trajectory that largely avoided the Van Allen belts. Instead of going straight through the belts, the spacecraft flew above them, where the radiation was lower. The key was speed and timing. The Apollo astronauts passed through the Van Allen belts quickly, minimizing their exposure to the radiation. They did this by performing a high-velocity burn to leave Earth's orbit and enter a lunar trajectory. This fast passage reduced the time spent in the radiation zone, making it safer for the astronauts. Another crucial factor was the protection provided by the Apollo Command Module. The module had a multi-layer composite of materials that blocked many of the high-energy particles, safeguarding the astronauts inside. Additionally, NASA chose to pass through the Van Allen belts on the night side of the Earth, where the radiation is weaker. This strategic timing helped further reduce the exposure to harmful radiation. The Van Allen probes, launched in 2012, have since provided more detailed insights into these radiation belts. These probes showed that the belts can change significantly due to solar activity and geomagnetic storms, but understanding these dynamics has helped in planning safer space missions. In summary, NASA's success in navigating the Van Allen belts was due to a combination of clever trajectory planning, high-speed passage, and effective shielding. These strategies allowed the astronauts to safely travel through this hazardous region and reach the moon.